Hey everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back to Surviving Mars. Oh my gosh, big shout out really quick to Cho GGI. Uh, he's gone ahead and given me the updated version of the mod and so I no longer have pause. This is now a no pause run. Oh yeah. So, I have a little bit of a crisis here. Even though we're producing all this water and stuff, right? We got all these vaporators going. Uh, it looks to me like we're still negative two water. And these tanks are dra dropping pretty quick. We're gonna run out of water pretty quick here. And since we have 37 colonists now, being low on water, not the greatest idea. Lots of deaths can happen from that. However, I've just noticed something, and I'm willing to bet there's probably some comments about this, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, this pipe is actually not connected to the rest of the grid. I'm a doofus. So let's go ahead and get that installed. We're just going to run it along this power line, because why not? And it looks to me like I actually probably can't do that. I can't do that. Hang on. Uh, don't do this. Do this instead. Like that, yeah. Now, we do not have the, the research for great pipes, I don't believe. It's on the to-do list, superior pipes. It's on the to-do list, it's gonna happen right after Greenhouse Mars. Which, I, I want the Greenhouse thing first, because I do want to start doing the actual green planet stuff. I want to start getting that going a little bit faster. Now that we have people, it should be doable. And actually, I think probably, we don't have any seeds yet, but I think I might be able to... Actually, we're only at five power. Let's drop some of these sterlings. We, we should probably have a couple of sterlings here. We'll drop one there, and... I'm really thinking we need more water on the grid. Where, okay, so we have this problem right now where we're going to be really poor because we only have this one low underground rare metals. What about water? We have the one we're using here. There are two of them here. This one's average. This one's very low. Okay. Uh, and then we also have this one here, which is also average. Once we get superior pipes... We're not going to have to worry about super long pipe trails, so that's going to be great. But we still have to provide maintenance to the water extractors. This one's probably the next expanse for water. Because it's pretty close. But we have to make sure that we're making machine parts. So let me take a look and see how our little machine parts factory is doing. We're able to make 0.6 per soul right now. 0.6, and it's going to suck 18 power off the grid in the morning. Is this the best shift for that? Wow, the diner's... Oh, that's not that's the diner, not the... I thought this was this. So this is only taking 5 power. What's the big power draw? Is that kind of it? Anomaly analyzed. I think that's kind of it. So we should probably stagger these just a little bit. I'm going to bump this into here, and I think we'll go ahead and cancel this. And we'll shift these guys down to this work shift. Now that means today they're actually going to work a bit double, because they were just working this shift, and now they're going to work this shift. But I'm super happy to have no pause back, man. Ugh, the impulse to hit the space bar, it's so strong. There's more to the barren environs of the Red Martian Planet Institute of Science the and... Topology AI. Training. Hang on. What's that? Topology AI. Drones work faster on landscaping projects. Okay. Interesting. I still have my... I still have the tech that I want in the order that I want it. So we'll go from there. Alright. This is finally connected. So no more water crisis. Excellent. Water production is 8. Total demand 7.1. That should mean that we have a surplus. It is increasing. Okay, good. We have a surplus. Now, we're supplying a lot of metals maintenance for these things, so we need to make sure we are always on top of metals. And that means making sure that this thing never stops running. But eventually, it's going to stop running. So we also need to start planning ahead for metals. And actually, there's something right here I missed. And this one's 768, and it's average. If only we could get a reliable way to provide maintenance for this all the time. That would be really nice. 
Transport truck sitting here doing nothing. Grab the metals here. Bring them back here. Is that in range of this? I want to say that it is. Let's drop another depot. We'll drop a metals so depot here. here. And let's drop also machine parts here as well. So when we create them, we have some place to put them as well. You know, I'm kind of also thinking electronics here and seeds is a new depot. Oh, okay. So let's just have a nice big depot here. Now we also want to make sure that these drones can go over top of this when there's a big storm. That's kind of important too. So I'm gonna make a passage. Oh, I can't. Okay, hang on. No problem. We'll just simply move this. Let's get this out of the way. We'll replace that depot with, let's say, over here. Actually, I could probably get away with it being here. Let's see where I can put it. We'll do this first, just to make sure I can have this. There we go. Put that there. Then from that, we should be able to now have food there. Perfect. Okay. Speed it up. Let's go, little drones. All right. So, let's see. It's a rough life here on Mars. You can't prepare for addiction. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. The founder, Mio Abe, has the alcoholic trait. Yeah, that's fine. Alcohol is not the answer we sell him. So we're also scanning these sectors. And it, we're running out of sectors to scan. We're going to have to get down here eventually. And I don't know how we're going to do that. Without being able to import... I mean, we're going to need a hell of a lot of stuff to import, right? We should probably consider at least a tunnel over here. We could possibly, well, eh, without having a drone hub and stuff, I'm actually curious about this. If I put a drone hub, oh, I can't even blueprint it without, yeah, I have to have the technology in order to even blueprint it. All right. Let's get a couple of recharge stations over here too, because you never know when these little drones want to recharge themselves. So let's make sure they can do it kind of all over the place no matter where they are. I think eventually we want them to be over here too. We'll just put these kind of scattered around. Now we also have one additional Sterling and I'm kind of waiting to use that because I'm not sure if we're gonna need like a thing way out here and we need power to run to it. Although again, be because power cables are completely Nah, because power cables are not going to deteriorate, they're not going to fail, I think I should just run power lines that way. It actually makes way more sense to do that. So let's put this Sterling... Uh, we'll, we'll stick it right, right here. It's fine. And that's a prefab, so that should be good with that. So this gives us a power surplus, always nice. Water surplus, always nice. And oxygen surplus, always nice. Still only have 37 colonists. Let's assess the comfort. So, 55 comforts needed. And currently their comfort sits at 60. They're looking for drinking needs. Two of them want din dining and drinking, which is odd since I have diner. I have a diner here and a space bar. Most likely the space bar is just not adequate. I don't think it's a good idea to get rid of this. So, what I think I need to do is get another third dome. And get a smaller one for, like, extracurricular stuff. Little accessory stuff. Most likely that means getting rid of this living quarter. And sticking a dome here. Which is, like, okay, I guess. It'd have to be a small one, like a micro dome. I think it would fit here. And granted, we can always flatten this, too. And we probably will. I probably will flatten this, but I kind of, like, part of me likes the character of this. Part of me likes how this looks, but another part of me says, hey, the purpose is to terraform this and to make it habitable for people, and while this is pretty, it's in our way. You know, part of me is thinking that's the way this has to be. 
I'm gonna try and flatten the ground as little as possible, but I'm kind of thinking this right here is gonna be in the way. The only way it's not is if the triangle goes where this rocket is. The rocket's almost refueled, so we can lift it off soon. The other problem, though, is that the rocket is currently providing range for my drones to get here. So as soon as I lift off the rocket, I'm no longer going to be able to provide maintenance to this. So what I'm thinking is, we wait until this hits its maintenance cycle, and then we go. That way we get a full maintenance cycle for this, of usage of this. And then we can maybe think about, you know, sending down a, a storage, or sending down a, a supply rocket and landing it over here again. So temperature. Temperature parameters represent the global surface temperature of Mars. Increased temperature is required for liquid water, rains, and local vegetation growth. Temperature is increased by buildings in the terraforming build menu and by completing special projects. So we still only have 0% on all these things. By the trees... Okay, we have the GH... The H... The, sorry, the GHG factory. Greenhouse gas factory. I think... Yeah, this takes machine parts maintenance, but it also increases the temperature. It's expensive to build, too. This stuff is not cheap. Looks like the forestation plant actually takes one polymer's maintenance. Interesting. Do we have... Th See, I want to get this first. Get this and then start foresting because this is a really great breakthrough. Superior Pipes is getting started now. Oh, joy. Uh, we can actually get something new on the list here. Discover six new planetary anomalies. Wow. Um... We're gonna need polymers. That's gonna we're gonna we're gonna need it really bad. Capital City. Requires breathable atmosphere. Improve the atmosphere and temperature of the planet and support life outside the dome. Then we get to unlock the capital city. Nice. Alright. So we ran out of concrete. So uh, over here, and what I did is I opened up this one over here. So now we at least have this one going, and it's just barely in range for the drone hub to provide maintenance to it, as well as take care of this stuff. Now, we don't have anything or any place for it to store the rocks, the waste rock, at least not close by, so the drones are picking it up and taking it all the way over here for the time being. Also, little explorer, I believe we have another anomaly for you. Two other anomalies, in fact. So let's grab that, and then the transport truck is still doing its metals thing. All right, I'm gonna let this run for a little bit. Get this, get this gameplay going. Meteor storm is starting now, and uh, I'll kind of update you once we have like some up, some interesting progress here. I'm gonna just take a look at this, examine it, and I need to let I need to let time go, because I need people, and I'm also kind of hoping that maintenance happens on this pretty quick here. But if the meteor shower, if the meteor storm hits this, you know, and it blows up. Then that would be the end of its maintenance cycle, wouldn't it? <laughs> Whoa! Oh no. Is this... Oh, are you kidding me? The meteor star is happening right here? Already? They're just... Oh my gosh. So of all the RNG of where this could happen, it's going to happen right on top of me. Oh, goody. Uh, let's see. How do we handle this? I don't have any way to fight against meteor showers yet, so I guess we just let it happen. We just let it pummel me. Oh, no. Please don't fracture my dome. Please don't fracture my dome. Ah, uh, it didn't like... It didn't fracture it, but it did disconnect. It only disconnected this. That's not a big deal. My goodness. It's gonna... This is gonna go on for a whole day. And it's gonna hit... Oh, that's definitely gonna fracture the dome. Oh, man. That's definitely fracturing. This is going to be painful. Yeah, there's the fracture. What's the cost of repairs? Five polymers. Ugh. Meteor incoming. This is stupid. The game chose to put it all on me. Oh my god. Meteor incoming. Can it please not hit the same spots? No! Wow. Wow. Meteors are meteors suck so bad. They suck so bad. 
This one took damage. Nah, the power lines are immune. I think they're immune anyway. But I don't I don't think it Yeah, oh my god, I can't believe this. This is gonna happen. This is gonna happen over and over again. I don't know how I can't fight this. Please stay away from me specifically. Can we just stay away from me specifically, please? This is really expensive. How much did it cost us to repair all these? That's a lot of metals. Thankfully, it's only hit the dome once. Uh, you know, so far. Is it moving this way? Please tell me you're gradually moving this direction, because that would make me very happy. That's what it kind of looks like. It's kind of hanging out over here now. Uh, or over here. I guess it doesn't really have necessarily a method to this madness, but ugh. There's more oh my gosh. Automated storage, behavioral shaping, factory amplification, growth stimulators, Martian board adaptability, and storage and compression. There's a lot of technologies we just unlocked, and it's it's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. Um, So, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we let this go to get superior pipes. Then... Oh, vegetation grows 40% faster. That's cool. Growth stimulators. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Is this at the end of its... Okay, maintenance cycle's done on this. I think I think we go ahead and launch this now. I think we go ahead and let that take off. And watch, just as I do that, a meteor hits this and we can't repair it. That's gonna happen, you watch. Alright, we let that go. We let that go. We have 375 million. And we don't have any rare metals or anything like that, so we're gonna have to deal with it. Now this says it doesn't have any... Wait, this says it doesn't have any drones in range. We have to bring this RC commander back. Bring the RC commander back over here. Which means we can't fix this now. Ah, uh, we gotta have another drone hub. We gotta have another drone hub. Let's let this commander do something for a bit. Is there any way I can cover both? Resources are low. I don't think I can. It looks to me like there's no possible way to cover both. Let's make sure that we can repair this. Get this the repair that it needs. Okay, now let's get back over here. Meteor shower is over. Thankfully, it took out uh, only all of my uh, solar panels, <laughs> pretty much. It costed us a bunch of metals and also cost me five polymers to repair the dome. But that's okay. That's the that's part of the part of the challenge, right? Part of the challenge, you son of a <laughs> stupid meteor showers. What do I bring? Seeds, probably. We have a long time until we get this, though. Newly grown forests. So this is the newly grown one. I'm trying to postpone making one until we get this, and then, you know what? Let's actually take Logi turbines off of this. We'll stick it on the back side. Yeah, we want the atomic accumulator. That way I can get rid of the batteries and also save me on polymers maintenance there too. Because we can store a lot more power in one. Looks like we're good on water storage for the time being. How's our crops doing? Okay, not bad. We, ha we haven't started making the soil better here. Is it just me? Or does the do the crops actually look better now? Like, I think they went ahead and remade these and make the, made them look better. I could be wrong, but I think they made them look better. What about soybeans? I mean, this, this DLC is all about making Mars green, right? So it makes sense that a lot of the plants and vegetation and stuff, they, you know, they would have uh, done something to them to, to make them look better. They would have touched them up, you know? Superior pipes is done, which means our water pipes will never fault, and our power cables will never fault. Isn't that wonderful? Next, I think I want to put on... Let's get Martian patents. 
Yeah, let's get Martian Patents and then the Atomic Accumulator. Then we'll go for the Polymer Factory. And then I think from there... I need electronics. Like, I need to be able to make electronics. 2%. I like how it shows me the progress on these, too. So, like, you can see that I've already started one of them. Like, this one's 2% done. That's kind of interesting. And getting the extra oxygen from the Moxie is probably a good idea. Also a good idea, getting another dome for these guys. So, let's take... And make a new dome. We could do a micro dome like here. This isn't a bad idea. We can put it like here. I kind of like this. I also like the idea of just like getting rid of that power cable and putting it closer to this dome. So I think I will. I think I'm going to salvage this. And again, remember, this is no pause. So there's not a whole lot I can do about this right now. Okay, so what I want is Microdome. Hmm. I think this is close enough. Well, I can't connect it to this one anyway. So it doesn't really matter. That was actually kind of pointless then, because I can't really connect that. But I think what I'm going to end up doing is... Yeah, I want to I want to put this in range though. So let's put it like how about here? And then we can take away yes. Yeah, we'll put it like this. Right there. Let's build this. We can give these guys It won't help this though. But I want to give these guys a better thing. I want to give them a better bar and stuff. But it's not going to help these guys. God, I really want this to connect to both domes. What about moving? What about shifting the nursery to here? Shifting the playground to here? Or moving this space bar and putting the big one here? Perhaps that's the, perhaps that's the solution. I, like, I think I like this idea better. We're going to get rid of these things. And we can hopefully put in... Blocking objects. I kind of like the idea of doing this right here. Which means I'm going to have to terraform this. Oh boy. So flatten. We want to flatten... Uh, this... To be flat with this. Basically all of this. We want this to be flat. So make that flat. Go. Is this going to be something where... Like, are they going to be able to do it? Yeah, it looks like they can all do it. Can you, can you participate? Are you actually able to do this from where you are? It looks like it. Yeah, this is actually getting progress done on it. Nice. So this rock formation will go away. This will make room for what we want. 91%, 92. Resources are low. Food is low? This is about to pop soon. This is about to pop soon. Okay. So this is flat now, right? Almost. This little ca these little canyons and stuff are still here. So if they have to take all that rock that was there and they have to dump it into the canyon and that levels it. Okay, good. So let's pause. Let's uh, slow it down. We can't pause. And we're going to go. Microdome, now it fits. Awesome. Let's move you out of the way. Microdome. I'm gonna go like. I think that we're gonna go like this. I should be able to connect this in a triangle. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. I will have to move this pipe, but it's okay, because I'll just simply I'll simply shift it to be to where it's here. We're gonna want to get rid of this. And we're going to want to get rid of this. Temporarily, that's going to make people a little bit upset. We also want to get rid of the nursery. And we want to shift it over. So decommission protocol is going to remove all of these things automatically for me. We're going to then take the nursery. 
And nursery? I'm gonna move it over here, actually. I'm gonna move it right next to the bar. Because we might want to do something else here, right? Maybe? Eh, nah, probably not. Probably not. Let's shift that there. So once we get this built, tell me you're in range. Oh, you're not in range. Mm, it's going to be fine. I'm going to get rid of this living quarter and shift this this way. We can have other facilities here that will help them. Hopefully this is not like wasted because placing these, I, I can't like rebuild it somewhere. I can't move it. So we almost got supplies. Yeah, we got supplies being brought here. There's not a whole lot of drones though. Where's my right, right, my rover right here. Let's, let's get a few more drones in on this if we can. Also, I'm thinking we, we should slide it this way and we probably want to get this power cable connected at least again. And we'll just do that. Now these power cables, remember, they're built instantaneously. Same thing with the pipes. So once this gets built, I can shift this. I can kind of work this magic here. But the pipe, the the path is going to go from here to here. At least that's the idea. We'll see how that works. May have to move some things. In this spot, I think we probably put the playground back. Because the playground worked okay. It did okay. And then... Ooh, there's a ranch. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. An outdoor ranch as well. Very peculiar. An outdoor ranch. What does this do? Produces food, consumes oxygen and water depending on the animal type. You know what? We could try one of these. We could try one of these. Ranches are kind of the same. It's kind of cool. Does it fit in here? Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, you're flying. Dude, dude, do you bypass? Oh, you can fly right through the storm, so you're not on the ground. That's pretty cool. So because you're flying, you don't get wounded by that? You don't get you don't get taken out by that? Is that how that works? That's kind of fun. I want to know where I, where I could put this ranch. I mean, we could eventually put it here. It does require a dome, right? So I guess I could maybe put it over here. Oh, wait. No, this is the outdoor. The outdoor one. That's the one I'm trying to place. The outdoor one. Can't quite put it over here. Uh, I like the idea of having it over here, though. I like the idea of it being, like, right here. Uneven terrain, though. Darn. It will fit here, which is kind of cool. It will fit over here. I might do that. This is a kind of interesting. I'm going to place this. Let's see what happens with this. This looks kind of interesting. It takes 10 polymers and three machine parts. Hold on. Hold on. What are you maintained by polymers? Okay. Workers, man. But it produces food. I'm going to do it anyway because I want to produce the food. Do I have enough workers even in this? I have a lot more, a lot of room for expansion in this dome, actually. Let's do it. Let's just see. It might be detrimental to our play because of the resources it takes. I'm gonna try it. Let's just get it going. Let's see what happens. What's what's life without a little risk? You know. That'll connect that, and then the power cables. Again, they're built instantly, so we're not gonna have to worry about anything there. built instantly and are completely immune to everything. Microdome is getting close to built. I think I will. I think I'm going to put the, the playground back because it was good for the kids. They want a place to play. Stick that back in there. You are going to be taken out of here. So let's get rid of the living quarter. You guys are going to have to relocate to one of these other facilities. One of these other buildings. And I think we actually have seniors here now. Which is like which sucks. Like, I think we actually have... We have two senior citizens already. 
which is just, that's just really sad. It's really sad. No seniors in this dome, but there's already seniors, man. What the hell? Should I have these guys working all the time? I feel like maybe. I mean, do we have any unemployed? No homeless and uh, no unemployed. Nobody seeking work. Hmm. We just need more people. We have 43 colonists now. Hey, I think we're having babies. Like, at a pretty good rate here. I think we're having good, like a good amount of babies. I don't see them living in there, though. I see one, two, three living in here. One, two, three living in here. Oh, man. These guys are having lots of babies. Yeah, we got to get this up and running, too. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is put the full space bar in here. Put a school in here. And then maybe another living quarter, even. Or, like, a big park or something. Maybe we take... Ooh, hey. We could take this open-air gym and put it in here, too. And that gives me enough room to put even more people to live here. Busy, busy dome, man. 14... But we don't, we don't want more than 30 people living here, though, because... Then the people who are, well, if they have a problem with, you know, if they're the people who hate like the, the populated domes, I forget what the trade is, but if you're one of those people, you can always just move to the other dome. We're getting a lot of science. Design for a station. So once this is done, I'm going to start working on the terraforming stuff. That's like, that's like, the call. That's what happens. Uh, waste rack storage is full. Shit. Yeah, we're low. We're low. Uh, tell me this is getting built. Hold on. Get built. Get built. Get built. Get built. Get built. And get over here. Okay. So with this dome built, we want to queue up a couple of things. We want to queue up the passage from here to here. But in order to do that, So is this not possible because of the corner or because of this? Let me see. Damn. Damn. I don't think I can have it, guys. Because of the way this corner is, I don't think it's going to let me have it. It's not going to let me have it. Oh, no way. Hold on. If I disconnect this and this. You're not going to let me have it. There's like nothing I can do with this angle. It won't let me have it. I really wish this would be zigzagged. Like, oh, I really wish I could zigzag this. I need to be one over. I need to be one over. Wait, can I do this? Oh, I can do that. Oh, you can do that. Oh, I had no idea. Oh, you can do that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I, I okay. So how you do that, right? Is you, you take the passage and you like click where you kind of click your path, right? So uh, from here, for example, if I wanted to go out this way, that's going to, it's blocked, right? So what I want to do is I want to come out this way and say, hey, what I want you to do is I want you to uh, go here. I click here. Then I can angle it. Again. Oh my God, I had no idea. That's so, that's super cool. Okay, hold on. So what I want to do then is come out like this. And then like that. That's where I want that to be. Oh, I can't believe I didn't, like, I just discovered that. That is awesome. That is awesome. Well, that, in that case, I could have built this further over then, couldn't I? Sector it's so cool. I had no idea you could do that. Um, if I take 
this little small garden, and then how about a little fountain here, just uh, for comfort. Now we already have a fountain there, so let's get something else, a statue, fine. Over on this side, uh, again, we want just some comfort stuff, so I'm thinking we take, uh, we already have a fountain, so again, on this side we could put like another statue and like a small garden over here. And then in, in here, what I want to have are the facilities that were lacking in the other domes. So, in this case, we would do the open air gym here, and that way... Oh! The space bar has... Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Darn it. We can't do the full because these things block it. Okay. Okay. Um, new plan. We leave the open air gym here. And we instead do... It's not going to work the way I wanted it to. It's not going to work the way I wanted it to. The school. I can't put the school in here. Unless. Wait a minute. Wait. What if. Hold the, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Okay, they didn't start building, they started building this one already, but they didn't start building this one yet. What if we do this? We passage this, this direction. We'll move that power cable. But we end up bringing this in here like that. That would be cool. The idea is, I, I want to make sure we get the school. I really want the school. So we get good, good kids, right? We need good kids. So if we do this, if we... Uh, we can do the nursery too. Let's have the nursery here. And then we have a playground in here as well. Definitely not there. We have the playground here. And then... We have maybe like a, I don't know. Do we really need a grocer? Maybe. We do like a small grocer, but nobody's, somebody's got to work here, right? So we do like a small grocer here and then um, like other miscellaneous comfort stuff. But the, the idea here though is we want this path to come out like this. And then over like this. <gasps> it works. So this... Oh, that's so cool. I, I had no idea you could do that. I'm, I'm just going to geek out about that for a bit. That's really awesome. I love it. I love it. That's really awesome. Okay, this is in the middle of its maintenance cycle. Let's bring this back. I need another drone hub pretty badly at this point. We have 15 electronics. Let's get a resupply cargo rocket. And I want another drone hub. As much as it's going to be maintenance, I want another drone hub. I'm kind of thinking maybe the electronics factory is something that we should maybe bring, but it's $200 million. I think it's better spent actually spending... Oh my god, it's 10 electronics, it's 200 million. Oh, this is all of our money. We're so broke. We're so broke. Oh, we're so broke. Launch it. Yeah, I need the hub. Launch it. We'll put the hub, like, right here. And then the hub can manage these things. This whole area. And hopefully get this in range, too. So that we can start pulling water from that. Maybe other domes in the future. Uh. All right. We need to get all these little guys out of here. Let's get them over here building things. What do we got over here? What is this? What are these? Are they, are they goats? We have goats? We have goats. We have goats. 31 food for how, how many days? Uh, six souls, 90 food. Not bad. 
sucking two oxygen though, so we're actually getting depleted on oxygen right now. Oh, and this isn't even cooked up anymore because of I'm a dummy. So let's hook that up again. Really? You're not gonna... Uh, Alright then, we'll go this way. How's that sound? You weirdo. You weirdo. Fine. We'll go like that. How's that sound? It's kind of an interesting way to rig it up, but we'll take it. What about all this? This is all disconnected from the... This is all disconnected. Well, it's connected here. It's connected to the dome, so... Actually, this doesn't really matter. But we could reinforce this connection just by going like this, though. And then at least it's here. <sighs> okay. So what we've got, basically, is another nursery, another playground. We could take this playground out if we want to stick something else there. This nursery is going to have kids. I, what I want eventually to happen is that this dome does not accept children. There's six children in here. I want to get rid of the children that are in here and replace and have them be over here instead with the school, which is going to have so much maintenance and electronics. It's not even going to be funny. It's going to be a stupid amount of electronics maintenance. Not excited about it at all. Not in the slightest. Looks like we can get some concrete going here, too. We probably should. So let's get concrete, concrete extraction going there. We'll hit the power cable and bring it all the way out like this. Power cable's built instantly, obviously. And we'll just put a dumping site over here. Not a big deal. All right, how are we cooking here? We got a space bar. Here's the school. We want the kids to live here. So let's take kids and make it to where they can't live here. No kids allowed in this dome. Kids, get out of here. Go someplace where the school, preferably here. And the traits we want to teach them, enthusiast, composed, survivor, I think is probably a good one. Another drone hub inbound, got it. Uh, let's put this rocket over here. Yeah, right here. Put that rocket there. That way the, the range will cover this too. We also want to have a dumping site for waste rock here too. So let's see if we can get one of these drones to be under this guy's control. Here we go. We'll do another one here. Let's start turning over some of these drones to the rocket. So the rocket can maintain this stuff. Okay, drone hub. Do we want to place it now? I think so. I worry that I'm, like, expanding too quickly right now, and it's got me really worried. A bit concerned. We could put this right here. Covers the water. Yeah, it covers the water. Covers everything we needed to cover. Yeah, we could put it right here. We'll pop it right there. Now, in order to connect this, of course, we're going to want power hooked up. So, we're going to want to run power from here to the, the dome. And then also from here down. And then we also need the drone commander, the existing drone commander, to get in range. To get in range to build the prefab. Once the prefab is built, more drones will get kicked out of there. And now we can maintain this whole area. So, now we have full drone coverage. We don't have to play... We don't have to juggle these guys anymore. Which means RC Drone Commander can do other things, potentially. He can go and, I don't know, do whatever he wants, but do other things. Do I need you hooked up here? I want to have a I want to have a drive path here, but eh, this is pretty crowded. I don't think we want a path to drive vehicles through here. If we need to get into this area for some reason, we have this. And we can drive around this. It's probably for the best. Do we have this? Design, design forest station is done. Okay. Design forest station done. Awesome. Love it. Now, is there a reason to lift off the rocket? I don't think so. There's, we're not bringing more people and... Oh, hang on. We got to check the... We're still down in oxygen. 
We're still down in oxygen. Um, I think magnetic filtering needs to be moved to the front of the line. Yeah, I think so. Uh, and then this. This here. Explorer. Come and get this. That'll help our oxygen right now. In the meantime, let's start forestation. We don't have any seeds, but we have some food. When this pops, we should be okay. Uh, 80%. Let's actually do this. Let's have seeds grown here. We'll do a seed crop. It takes five days, but we can get some seeds. And then we can start forestation efforts. Maybe that would be the thing to do. When Martian patents finished... Ooh, you know what? Since we have the rocket... I know I'm all over the place right now. I'm very sorry, guys. It's just the way this is. But now that we have the rocket here, we could maybe do one of these. And I'm thinking... 50 fuel, 30 electronics is a lot. This one gives me a breakthrough, which would be awesome. More resources. A breakthrough. If we bring 10 drones, this is what I want. A breakthrough for 10 drones? Yeah, this. We're going to send that. Off you go. 10 drones stored. Away you go, little rocket. Go get me that breakthrough. My goodness, that sounds awesome. Sector scanned. Now, we don't have full coverage of this. So that's what you're going to do. That's what uh, you're going to do, Drone Commander. You're going to be sitting over here. You're going to be managing this, because that's the only thing you need to do. This whole area here is managed nicely by the drone hubs anyway. Anomaly analyzed. So, fine. Breakthrough discovered. Breakthrough discovered. Landscaping nanites. Landscaping projects progress without the need of drones and are generally faster. No drones need to work on landscaping stuff? It's kind of cool. Magnetic filtering is basically done. We're going to go with growths. Let's put... I like this. So, Topology AI has drones working faster on landscaping projects, but this... We'll just have landscaping projects be done without the need of drones. Then there's our DC, the RC Dozer, a vehicle that can be used for landscaping projects. Dozers can be ordered from Earth, right? So we use dozers for landscaping projects. We can use drones for landscaping projects, or we can use none of them and just have this. <laughs> Although it says without the need of drones, it doesn't say without the need of the dozers. So perhaps the dozers are still needed for bigger projects, but. I mean, we don't need this one for sure. Once we get this, we definitely don't need this one. So let's uh, discover some more anomalies. There's so many ways we can go about this. I think polymer blades is too expensive right now. We could do the new crops. We could do the new crops. Or just more storage. Let's pop. Let's be boring about it, but probably better off. Let's do more storage. Tell me we're making machine parts, please. Point eight. So let, let me see what we're doing here for this. We're we have we're making one, but we're using one point three. So we're still losing resources on this. If we can get another work shift going, we can we can offset. We can offset our machine parts expenses if we can get another shift going. And now that we have the outdoor ranch, that is also going to... Oh my gosh, okay, hang on. So we start with goats. This uses 1.5 water and two oxygen to produce 90 food in six days. Pigs will use four water. That's more than double the water. It's double and a half kind of the water. Uh, more oxygen consumption as well, but it produces 10 more food in one last day. So if we have a lot of resources available, this could be a good one. Then we have cows. They produce less, they take less water than pigs, but they take more oxygen, like almost double the oxygen. However, they will produce, I think the most food overall. Yeah, by a considerable margin. Uh, they takes, it takes 12 souls. But once it pops, it's 300 food. That's a lot. Uh, and then we have ostriches. Ostriches appear to be like this middle ground. 150 food in eight days. 
Oh, man. So it kind of depends on what kind of resources you have available. So right now we're low on oxygen. So goat's not necessarily the best because this takes two oxygen. We could get away... Actually, this is the... Mm, actually, this is the lowest oxygen, yeah. What we could maybe do is grow crops that give us some oxygen back. Reduces oxygen consumption by 0.3. And the wheat. What does the wheat do? Redu wheat does the same thing. Reduces oxygen consumption. I'm thinking I want to go ahead and get soybeans going in this crop too. We need to up the soil quality in this if we're going to do two farms. Whew, okay. Now, it seems to me nobody's working in the grocer. We're just low on people. What's the comfort like? 65, so we should still have births. What's the comfort like here? 73, should still have births here as well. So I imagine we're still going to see people. Magnetic filtering is done. That would mean that we can upgrade this, right? Upgrade magnetic filtering costs us five polymers, but it's really worth it, I think. Because we're low on oxygen, and we're going to run out of oxygen pretty quick here. So let's take the expense. Upgrade this. Five polymers to upgrade it. Select a sector to scan. And with that, we should be fine on oxygen. There we go. We're, e we're equal now. In fact, I think maybe... We're actually increasing. Good. All right, select, select a sector to scan. Let's just keep doing this. Or maybe we scan the ones that are close to us. Because if we find something, we're going to want to tunnel down there. Nothing really remarkable. Where are all the rare metals on this map? <laughs> God damn it. Where are the rare metals at? This is ridiculous. We can salvage this. It's unnecessary. Uh, we probably want a little bit of redundancy in this line, though, in case something happens. So we can also go this way with it. This creates a little bit of redundancy. And then, actually, we'll do that, just in case a meteor hits this. Okay. Uh, actually, well... This has power, anyway, because it's going to be connected to this. So, yeah, this, that's redundancy. Alright, we have ten wasp drones on this. How about we just put you down right here? Oh, boy. Well, you have drones of your own, so you can refill yourself. Oh my gosh, guys. What's going to happen with this colony? Like, what is? what are we going to do? I'm, I'm kind of... I don't know where to go from here. We don't have the seeds. I want to get seeds. I really want to get seeds. You know what? I'm going to zoom ahead in time until we have seeds. I think that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to let this thing play until we have seeds. This is not getting all that good of a bonus from the towers. 50%. It's kind of silly. Uh, we should probably rebuild this because it doesn't take all that much to do. You know what? It's okay. Once we get Martian patents, the 500 million in funding we get from this, we can use this to purchase a bunch of electronics. That'll keep us up for a little bit longer too. I really need two shifts on this. I really need two shifts on this. If I can get more power, actually. Maybe just a little bit more power. Um, you know... If I'm producing polymers well... And... Let's see. Polymers production is 4. Polymers maintenance is 0.5. So we should be growing polymers. It's like our supply of polymers should be growing, right? From surface deposits three. So given that, we could just we could just activate this, or once we get yeah yeah once we get that other research, atomic accumulator, then our polymers re our polymers maintenance reduces even more because we can get rid of these three. I really wish there was a way to discharge the power. That's in these, you know. It says nobody's working here. We gotta get people working here, man. I don't know what we're gonna do. Maybe we could get a residence. Like, one residence in here. One person living in here. Just for, like, the sake of it, you know? Also, we want children living in here. We want to encourage children to live in this place. 
encourage children to live here. No seniors. No, no, well, yeah, no seniors, because we want them to work in this building, so uh, no seniors in this building. Is it weird that the school is oriented like this? I feel like the school was meant to orient the other way. But I can't. I can't because the this is a this is the long flat edge of the dome. So I guess I could have turned it, like rotated it and faced it that direction or something. So this is all fueled up and ready to go. We have tons of fuel, so let's see about having another expedition. Uh, this one takes six scientists, but it gives us research progress, which is pretty nice. This one gives us new technologies, or we send this one. 30 polymers, we send that along, and we get $750 million. Which is a lot. It's only 30 polymers. We can buy 30 polymers for less than this. The problem is I don't have 30 polymers. New technologies on that one. Resources, maybe the resources. Let's try this one. We'll send this one. Maybe the quote-unquote resources are polymers, potentially. This is an orphan drone. Well, you're going to be assigned to that then. There you go, orphan drone. Have fun with that. So as we get more people, you see 47 now. As we get more people, we are still growing. The colony is growing. And as we get more people, we will be able to get people into the space bar here. So this is nice. Okay, I'm going to leave this episode here. If you guys are interested in getting the green DLC, uh, we have the DLC, all DLCs for Surviving Mars, as well as the game itself, in my game store. Check the link in the description or in the pinned comment of this video. Uh, the game store is a great place to buy the game. It is the same price as it would be retail anywhere else, but by buying it there, you help me a lot. There's a significant commission there. Uh, I'm not permitted to tell you what it is, but I will tell you that it's bigger than most other like affiliate programs that I have. So um, if you buy it there, it helps me a lot. Check it out. Links down in the description. If you want to get green DLC for yourself, green planets, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun so far. I, I honestly, like, this is the only thing I've really used. And I think this is actually Project Laika. I don't even think this is a green planet. This is Project Laika. This is where animals, right? Because there's also Sector Project Laika DLC as, as well. It's not just green planet. So, you know, there's extra stuff. And both DLCs, again, all of them, are in the store. So go check it out. It would help me out a lot. It's going to be awesome. Thank you very much for watching. I very much appreciate it. If you like this video, you know what to do. You guys are awesome like that. Give me a comment. We got 36 rare metals from that. So we get, at least we can export rare, rare metals now. At least there's that. I'm going to go ahead and land this rocket and try another expedition. We'll see you guys next time. It's been fun. Bye-bye.